Welcome back to the channel, everybody. The video that you're about to watch was originally filmed in October of 2021, and it is just now being released. Well, it might be uh, one of my uh, more favorite videos, and it was definitely one of the cooler experiences that I've had rock hounding. Uh, very thankful to have opportunities like this and uh, share it with you here. So some of the audio might sound a little different. Some little aspects of the video might be a little chopped up. But uh, bear with it. I think you're going to find this to be quite fascinating. And uh, it, it was an absolutely amazing day out digging. All right. Enjoy the show. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today is going to be a fun, exciting day. I'm here with Jenny and her lovely dog Zeus down here, who's amazing. Um, what we're doing today is we are going after some opal. Now, Jenny's kind of living the dream because who doesn't wish we found a pile of opal in their backyard? We're not figuratively in your backyard. This is literally your backyard, which is very cool. Um, and we, we kind of should discuss the whole opal thing. So generally speaking, when people talk about finding opal, you know, it's going to be common opal that's very kind of cruddy, not very like well-formed. And an opal is um, little spheres of silica. And depending on the size, uniformity, and how they're arranged, it can go from something that you don't want to something you really, really want, <laughs> right? Like everybody out there has probably seen like the Ethiopian opal, Australian mm -hmm. opal with the, the beautiful bright color play and all that. We'll throw some photos up here. Um, we haven't you haven't found anything with color play, but you've found a lot of stuff that's very gemmy, like very mm -hmm. clear, you know, um, yellows, oranges, reds, brown. You found some brown, right? Yes. Yeah. And I mean, so it kind of seems like it's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to do some chiseling, we're gonna do some hard work, and we're going to maybe find some pretty opal. And if, even if we don't find any, which I don't think that's going to happen here, <laughs> um, you have quite the collection of opal that you've just gathered from around on your property, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe we can, we can go look at that afterwards. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, um, to say the least, I, you know, I get to look at a lot of rock and I'm not usually that impressed, but this stuff has very, it's very impressive, everybody. Very <laughs> impressive. So, um, yeah, I mean, why waste any more time? We're going to do some chiseling. Let's do it. Do it. Yeah. So we can just kind of see in here. Come on. <laughs> he likes my fuzzy mic ball. Yeah. Um, we were getting into Not for the Zeus. some pretty little pieces of opal, and we can see it all throughout here. I mean, of course, uh, the goal is to get down below below the freeze thaw line and uh see what we can turn up out here today but it really is quite abundant i should mention that we are in uh northeast washington which washington has a very very cool history with some very historic opal discoveries which i'll drop some links down to i mean i know i sent you the yeah. some of the some of it <laughs> some of the past historical accounts I which like. i know it's it's <laughs> the amount of work people did was incredible well i think there's enough poking and prodding at the dirt time to get some tools and you're right near the surface which is interesting we're probably a little kind of uh null back here um Right here, we got some coming out, and look how gemmy this is. I mean, this is very, very nice opal. Let's look at this under a light. I mean, look at that, right? Like, that's really good. Basically, free of fracture. I know. Uh, looking at this opal is old news for you, but... Oh, no. I, love, I love looking at it every day when I find it, and that's why I get so discouraged when I start breaking it into littler pieces. Yeah. It's so pretty. Well, I I think I would love to take a couple of these little pieces, like maybe, you know, some of this, and I'll, I will 
take some photos of it under the microscope for you. Oh, that'd be I neat. think that, that would be, that could maybe answer some questions or at the very least look really pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is very, uh, very good. I like that it's just kind of like pouring. It's kind of pouring out right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just falling out and it started falling out from up here. Yeah. And up in that area, just in pieces. Mm-hmm. So I try to move away from it and dig into it, and then I would find more. What? So that's why I called for help. <laughs> <laughs> I have high hopes for today. High hopes. So I just pulled this chunk of basalt out. And what's interesting about this is this uh, yellow-green material that has filled some of these vugs. Um, I think I'll try to knock this piece off, and then I can take that back and try to determine exactly what we have there. But uh, I'm pretty confident that it's just going to be a poorly formed silicate. And, uh, well, I mean, it makes a lot of sense, seeing how there's so much opal here that we'd find stuff like that. But it's always good to not just go off of the guess and try to confirm if at all possible. So I'm just kind of poking away here <laughs> with a hand trowel. And look at the color in that opal. That is beautiful. Let's see what else you can pop out here. Oh yeah, it's starting to come out. Oh, oh, look at this. All of that in there. I'm hitting a seam. Try to get a brush at it. Oh. My gosh. Frustrating, it's fractured. It's beautiful color in here. I'm gonna get uh, my little screwdriver. All right, squirt bottle time. Oh, that, that whole thing in there is a giant chunk of opal. Look at that. Unfortunately, this is going to be all fractured up from freeze-thaw. I mean, we're only tw 12 inches down, probably. But look at that. Oh, my word. I am, I am, I am impressed, to say the least. Okay, Jenny went to go get some tools, so we're gonna wait, <laughs> wait for her to come back. <laughs> Look at this. <sighs> you 
you know, I don't like the dramatic nature of some people on YouTube, how everything is amazing. But I feel like uh, digging down a foot and finding this is actually amazing. So it looks like, now that I've kind of opened this up some and gotten some of this basalt out of the way, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's just a huge pocket. I mean, we can see that that opal extends from here over to, over to here. Okay, so we're going to just kind of pull at this. I mean, it's going to... Try to, we've got some beautiful color in there. I wonder, look at that. I wonder how deep this goes. That's the question. Like, look at that piece. Like that's totally solid. There's no fractures in that. Really? I mean, look at that. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. We can just use this as the, 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 commu the, bucket. the, the bucket. Yeah, I really, I want to see what's down low. Oh, the color in that. I feel like there, you could, somebody could definitely get some cabs out of that. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's. Now, is there some still below what we're. I, th now? I think, so um, here we have dirt and then, I don't know, maybe like 12 inches of dirt. And then this basalt that I pulled out. And now we're getting into this. So I started to clear off going this way away from the hill because okay. maybe it'd be easier. So, <laughs> but like, I mean. Well, is it, see, is I think it's even thicker. Yeah. Underneath what we're breaking off. That's why I, I wish I could see what it was, what the structure was that. That's very, very impressed with this. Yeah, take it, take every, <laughs> and that's what I, I do. I feel terrible because I'm like, okay, I probably don't need to take these little chunks, but I can't ever seem to just let them. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the root kind of grew through it and cracked it. That's so... what a lot of is happening. That's why when I pull on the roots, yeah, this will just fall. But wait until we get get away from the roots, you know, like once we're there's no more roots around. Uh huh. I mean, so we just this, have to dig far enough. Yeah, I mean, this over here was really red. Oh, so. Really? Yeah, down here was where I was finding the red, really red and bright orange, but not up there. Yeah, I mean, look, look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's it's all so red cool. opal. That is so cool. <laughs> now, how do we get it out in. Decent pieces. Yeah, let's try to get some big pieces out. I already know this root's just gonna screw everything up, so I'm just gonna pull it out anyway. I just I okay, so I have this like a vision in my mind, right? Uh -huh. Of like we dig down twenty inches, uh -huh. thirty inches, and we just like don't care about anything. We just smash it all out. Uh -huh. And it'd be interesting since you have such a big backyard. Just what's what's what does everything look like below the freeze line? Yeah. You know, when there's no more little running roots, like right. none of that. Like, I mean, okay, well, let me save this, yeah. and then you can dig. Yeah, <laughs> but like the 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 pieces that are coming out, just even twelve inches down, twelve fifteen inches Aren't down, are 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 crazy. I mean, far over <sighs> does this go? The fracture right here is breaking my heart oh <laughs> <laughs> Look at uh, well i mean just gotta do what you gotta do it's pretty it's pretty no. though it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have the prettiest dirt i mean uh and it doesn't it, 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 it sounds just terrible when it breaks yeah i know I'm it's like it, oh, it's like uh it. it's like glass being ground almost yeah. Feel like the camera's not gonna do do it justice. Yeah. But very, very pretty. Also these rocks in my hand are, are pretty. Talking about the dog. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean 
gorgeous stuff. I, th I have high hopes, though. We'll try to get some chunks. Look at how much opal has already been picked up out here. I feel like in short order we could fill this two-gallon bucket. Because this is quite the seam here. Okay, so I, we just pulled out this big chunk. And you see that right there? Focus. Get this a little wet. So right there in the bottom, that is play of color, precious opal found in northeast Washington. Only a foot or so down. I think uh, you should keep that aside. Okay. That, need, that needs to maybe go, not go straight into the bucket. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so to give you an idea of where we're at, this whole bucket of opal, opal dirt, and then the one piece that had precious opal. But let's see, let's grab the water. Okay. So we have this thick seam running through here. And as you can see, there's that. I'm just gonna do a little washing. Look. <laughs> Look at that. That is a big chunk of opal. So the plan, I think, is we're gonna try to, well, we've gotta find the bottom of it. We should see how deep this opal pocket goes. Um, as is, I mean, this stuff is incredible. Wash that piece right there. Like, that is, quite the nice piece of, of opal. Well, that hole is starting to open up. Um, so we have this seam and it started to kind of get thinner back here as we were, I worked towards me and it's getting thicker going this way. But uh, I think the next step, at least at this location, would be to notch the hill, get rid of that dirt, and then start punching down and see if that seam gets thicker as we go. Um, but even on that kind of like more narrow little edge, you got that one big piece here that has the precious portion in it right there. See it a little bit better wet. Got all of this, uh, I don't know, dirt that's filled with little tiny pieces of opal. And then almost a two gallon bucket. Now, we started at like 10.30. And right now it's a little after one. And that is a lot of beautiful opal. That is more opal than the average person is ever going to need <laughs> to, uh, you know, make into stuff or whatever that's a decent little haul and you can see the seam continuing continuing on um but you have some other little spots where the seam has been exposed out here in in, in your yard yeah. <laughs> but can we walk around and maybe go look at some of those yeah. other spot that you've been working yes it's good to keep good to keep it covered yeah i uncovered it this morning when I came to get some stuff oh man yeah, another big seam cutting through here. That almost looks like um, it's standing up, right? Like, you know, the one over there we were chasing, it's very horizontal. This seems like it's got a tilt to it. Like, we're, we're, I'm looking at the slab right here, you know? I can see you've started to drill. Mm -hmm. This one kind of goes up in layers too because it's, yeah. it's up here and then it goes up over here. And I mean, it's interesting because once again, you're like, not you're barely a foot deep here. Yeah. I mean, there's so much, <laughs> so much room to explore. Yeah, here's some little pieces just floating around, huh? Yeah. But it's like almost like layers. Yeah, it is, it is like layers continuing very cool very very cool you got another 
Is there a seam in there? Oh, wait. Is that it? Yeah. Or, yeah. I think that's the starting of one mm -hmm. popping out. And I don't know if there's <sighs> any anywhere else in there. Maybe right down in the center. I don't mm -hmm. know. But. Yeah, the shadow's kind of blocking it. Yeah. Very cool. Man. Now this is all, all opal here. That's beautiful. Look at the color in that. Beautiful stuff you have. Beautiful. Thank you. And those are. I mean, is so the you've been tumbling this stuff successfully. Yeah. Like. I mean, you have a lot. <laughs> That's, it's kind of, I, I'm, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the, the quantity of opal right here, you know, like. Some of these big ones have been tumbled. Yeah, let's look at this stuff over here. I mean, that is gorgeous. A lot of that's been tumbled the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you have found some great material that has kind of some more almost swirly picture scenes in it which is quite impressive i took a picture of that one that you had had here last time oh is that it i think i see it yep oh wow yeah i mean that is beautiful look at that And it's stable enough that you were able to tumble it. Yeah. yeah. And very cool. I would keep that one. That that that's one for like uh in the house. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a house rock. <laughs> I didn't even notice the picture in it. And then I started looking at it. I was mm -hmm. like, that could either be a lake down here or it could be a dinosaur. Yeah. I mean that's very pretty material. Yeah. You have so much, and we got a lot more today, which is cool. I can't believe how much you dug up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it's only the start for it here. Okay, thank you so much for having me out to come out here oh, and absolutely. dig. This was amazing to be able to come out and open up that hole over there and get to hang out with your dogs. I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's such a great day. Beautiful, of course, Northeast Washington, it's gonna be windy, right? That's just the nature of yes. it out here. Crazy, but it's um, nice. But I have a couple of opals you were kind enough to give me today. So we're going to look at those back in the shop. Where do I start? I don't know. Um, if it wasn't very obvious from the video, I didn't take that opal that we were digging that day. Well, I, I, I took that piece. Um, she, she gave it to me, you know. But I have a couple of pieces from our previous visit. Now, I, I've, of course, feel very fortunate to uh, have the luxury of being invited out to somebody's private property and go and dig rocks and uh, chat for hours on end about about the whole process and you know to be part of something that is kind of a legendary discovery I, I don't think that's an overstatement I mean this doesn't come up often you know is is very cool I'm very happy to have met Jenny and be able to hang out with her some and chat and all of those good things you know it's it's not often you come across somebody that uh, is willing to put in some hard work and do some actual digging. So uh, it's always good to uh, talk shop, you know. <laughs> and maybe uh, in the future we'll be doing some more over there with her and uh, some more talking of shop, right? Uh, and I, I really want to see what's underground. I mean, like, you know, 36 inches down, but get away from what is fractured and frozen. I mean, it's only going to get better. You know, this material... Uh, it came from underground up and not the top down, so it should be really good. <clears throat> and I could probably, we could probably talk about opal even more here. I mean, you know, there's, uh, it's very, very nice stuff. This is just in some distilled water just because why not? Otherwise, what am I going to do with these little pieces, right? Like, they don't have to be stored in water. Um, what I do want to talk about is this. And you know, you're probably thinking, like, why in the world would you want to talk about that when we could talk about that? Well, hear me out, okay? So these are just some observations that I've made, and uh, it's by no means, like, a provable, factual thing, I guess, at this point. 
but more just, you know, my observations. So what do we have here? Uh, I mean, I'm curious as to where there's other deposits of opal of this quality in eastern Washington. I've noticed a couple of things. Everywhere there seems to be opal out here, you're looking for, there's three indicators to keep your eyes open for. First off, it's got to be in Wanapum Basalt, uh, the top of the flow. Like I said, it's one. We'll just say Wanapum Basalt up at the top. And then uh, siderite, uh, spherosiderites, the siderite nodules that we find out here, and then nontronite. So there's not a guarantee if you see siderite and nontronite in Wanapum Basalt that there will be common opal or will be a fire opal or anything like that. But I feel like anywhere you find opal, you will find those three things. Just my observation at this point, but it's where I'm going with it. I've seen this uh, reaffirmed a number of locations a number of times, and uh, and that, and that. So um, what we have here is, well, we have all of that, <laughs> okay? Uh, there's some pockets of decayed nontronite, this being the outs kind of more outside of the rock, um, you know, and then we get into some little pockets of common opal, um, and there's, uh, underneath this, you can kind of see under the microscope that there is, in fact, some siderite. And, I mean, that's also was just generally observed out there on her property. Now, I don't, I'm going to work up, uh, eventually <laughs> a nice kind of, I'm trying to put together a profile of things that you need to look for to get this out here, which I don't think has ever been done, but... I'm, I'm excited for it. I think it holds a lot of promise, especially going into uh, summer 2022. So uh, I think uh, that's all I have for you today, everybody. There'll be some links down below. Definitely check them out. I appreciate you for coming by, hanging out, watching us play in the dirt, and uh, I will have to catch you guys on the next video.